This spray is used to help prevent pain from injections and minor surgical procedures. It can also provide temporary relief from minor sports injuries and help relieve deep muscle pain when used with muscle stretching techniques. Ethyl chloride works by numbing the skin when applied. It is important to use this spray as directed by your healthcare provider. The optimal timing for using this spray will depend on the specific situation and should be discussed with a healthcare professional. This medication is only used on the skin and should be applied by a healthcare professional. It should not be used on broken skin, mucous membranes, or sprayed into the eyes, and should not be inhaled. It is important to note that this medication is flammable and should not be used near open flames or electrical equipment that can spark a fire. Before applying ethyl chloride to injection and local surgical sites, your healthcare professional will swab the treatment area with an antiseptic. Petroleum jelly may be applied to protect surrounding areas around the surgical site. The ethyl chloride container should be positioned 3 to 9 inches away from the skin. If using ethyl chloride in a bottle, it should be held upside down and sprayed onto the area for 3 to 7 seconds. If using ethyl chloride in an aerosol can, it should be held upright and sprayed onto the area for 4 to 10 seconds. Your healthcare professional will spray just until the skin starts to turn white, stopping before the skin frosts. The procedure will then be quickly performed because the numbing effect of ethyl chloride only lasts for a few seconds to a minute. For the relief of deep muscle pain, the healthcare professional will hold the container 12 to 18 inches away from the muscle, then spray in a sweeping motion at the rate of 4 inches per second until the entire muscle is covered from the trigger point to the area of pain. The muscle will be slowly stretched during this process until full motion is restored and pain is relieved. Side effects are not common with ethyl chloride spray, non-aerosol. This medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Tell your doctor right away if you have any serious side effects, including lasting changes in skin color, pain as skin is thawing, infection at the application site, and delayed wound healing. Also, tell your doctor right away if you have any very serious side effects with long-term exposure, including nausea slash vomiting that doesn't stop, yellowing eyes slash skin, dark urine, stomach slash abdominal pain, and unusual tiredness. A very serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, and trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice other effects not listed, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before using ethyl chloride, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have. This product may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other issues, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Before using this medication, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. Be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is not known if this drug passes into breast milk, so it's important to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When using ethyl chloride spray, non-aerosol, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Before making any changes to your medication dosage, it's crucial to seek approval from your doctor. If someone has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms like losing consciousness or difficulty breathing, it's important to call for emergency help right away. In the U.S., you can contact your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. For Canadian residents, you can call a provincial poison control center. It's also important to note that this medication can be harmful if it is breathed in accidentally, which can cause symptoms such as feeling sleepy, slowed breathing, and a slower heartbeat. Be cautious when using this medication and seek medical help if any of these symptoms occur. Ethyl chloride spray, non-aerosol is used to numb the skin or mucous membranes in preparation for certain medical procedures. It is also used to relieve minor sports injuries and muscle pain. 
the usual dose is to spray the affected area for 1 to 2 seconds. This medication works best if you apply it just before the procedure or at the first sign of muscle pain. Ethyl chloride spray, non-aerosol is used to numb the skin or mucous membranes in preparation for certain medical procedures. It is also used to relieve minor sports injuries and muscle pain. The usual dose is to spray the affected area for 1 to 2 seconds. This medication works best if you apply it just before the procedure or at the first sign of muscle pain. When using ethyl chloride spray, non-aerosol, it is important to store it at room temperature and avoid storing it above 122 degrees Fahrenheit 50 degrees Celsius. The contents are under pressure, so do not use it near an open flame, electrical equipment that may ignite a fire, or hot surfaces. Also, avoid storing it on or near high-frequency ultrasound equipment. It is crucial to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to disposing of this product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Properly discard the product when it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.